we see a broad ranging support from uh, politicians who decided to come here today. Right. Um, I know all of you aren't here um, to listen to speeches by politicians, so I'll make this really, really quick. You know, Ukraine has been a complete inspiration to people all around the world, but especially people here in Taiwan. The things, the sacrifices that Ukrainians have done in support of freedom and democracy have been truly phenomenal. And, you know, I think all freedom-loving people around the world take Ukrainians as an example to follow, as a model to follow. And so, you know, I, I know there are a lot of Ukrainians here today, and I think Ukrainians all over the world should hold their head up high, because really, the international community owes you a great debt, and the debt that you guys are paying right now through your blood, through your tears, through your sacrifices. So thank you on behalf of Taiwan. Thank you on behalf of all freedom-loving people around the world. But my country will not give up. It will fight. It will defend its right to be free and to choose its own fate. Even if they take our destroyed land, they will never take our souls. Horror of running out of food for your children. This is, this is the reality of the magazine occupied territories right now. I'm getting messages, I'm seeing those messages coming from outskirts of Kiev every, every day, every day based cases of, pe of people trying to escape from occupied territories and being shot, shot be being shot point blank. Just yesterday, it was a family of three, including two children, who were shot when they were trying to get away. It's against the humanity, against anything that is human, that is good. You might think what, what, what this conflict, this war has to do with you. I would like to remind you about the effect of the shockwaves. We all know about the earthquakes and we know, all know how shockwaves can be very, very powerful. So, this war is sending the shockwaves around the whole Europe and the whole world. The result of these shockwaves is the militarization of the countries around the whole world. Because this war is, create, is creating a blueprint for other regimes how to invade the other countries, the other free countries. We see a broad ranging support from uh, politicians who decided to come here today and share their perspectives on the ongoing conflict and uh, encourage their fellow Americans. Emotions for everyone must be very heavy right now. We can see in Ukraine that the aggression has caused a lot of separation of family, even separation of death. So we are here today, because we are proud of the brave men and women of Ukraine. We hope you have seen this battle.
Progressive Party.